Hi everybody and welcome to Vocalese with Brie episode 9. I know we're kind of spacing these out but we've got all of quarantine to work on our on our voice so that's great. Today we are actually not going to work with sound. We are going to work with the breath. So I'm going to back you guys up. Whee! Ooh! And there it fell. Um, because what we're going to be doing, and I've worn my little midriff so you can see what's going on, we're going to be just using our breath to work today. So I hope you're all excited. Let's get started. earlier we're gonna be working with our breath today so first off what I want you all to do is widen your stance a little bit what you're gonna to want to do is almost feel like you have a three-legged stool going down let me turn on some lights so you can see um, so you're gonna have a three-legged stool going down in the back so you've got your two feet strong and your tailbone is just slightly tucked it's not sucked under like you would to dance but it's just slightly tucked so you've got your stability those of you with yoga this is the idea of that whole one alignment with your spine. So there's that. The other thing you can do is do one slight step forward with one of your feet. So there you've got a very, very big grounding position. Now with this, what you're going to do is we're just going to do a couple normal breaths. So just in through the nose, out through the mouth. So. What you'll notice is that people often breathe in different ways when they're thinking about it. So a lot of times you'll see people start to breathe up here. You notice that a lot with choir students. Then there's the second way, which is what you use if you're dancing and singing at the same time and that, which is breathing out from your ribcage. And the third is what we like to use with singing for strong, strong support which is breathing low. So you're breathing from your hoo-hoo, as Kristen Chenoweth would say, or your hoo-ha, um, and you're breathing down here in your lower abdominal muscles. These are the muscles you use when you're sleeping. So if you're just lying on your back, you naturally breathe low. So this is us getting our mind to shift down low. So you can put your hands here and try to breathe into your hands. So you're going. I'm trying to overemphasize so you can all see this. The other idea of breathing low, an image that my teachers have always talked about is the inner tube, the inner tube around you. When you breathe low, you're not actually just breathing forward. You're also breathing into your back. So you're, you imagine yourself with this giant inner tube or tire around you and you're you're expanding in both directions. A good practice, if you're saying, well, I don't really feel this in my back, is you can stand up against a wall. So you stand with your feet slightly in front of you in a plie and press your lower back into the wall and try to breathe into the wall. This helps create more stability. The other thing, if you're having a lot of trouble um, directing your mind down there, is to take something and put it between your legs while you're while you're singing through your arias or your songs because this will naturally keep your focus down because you're holding something up in your legs i used to stand over a pilates ball uh, i've also used water bottles you can basically use anything now let's get into our breathing so we talked a little in the staccatos about the puppy dog pants the and engaging our diaphragm. Well, today we're just gonna work on breath support. So I want you to breathe in for four and we're gonna breathe out for four, just on a, make sure you can hear it though. 
And what you're doing is you're noticing how empty your lungs get as it goes along, how full they are, how empty. Just pay attention to how you feel. So in for four, out for four. We're gonna do that four times and then we'll add on. So starting with the in and Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for four and out for four, in for four, out for eight, and continue on. This is an exercise that you'll progress in as time goes on when practicing this. If you're new to this and you have to drop out, do not worry. That is okay. That's just normal because you're, because you're training your muscles and you're expanding. So here we go. In for four, out for four, in for four, out for eight, in for four, out for 12, and so on and so forth. So here we go. If I go like this, we're going in. If I go like this, we're going out. So, and. Keep going on from there. You'll notice that sometimes you'll have air left over. Okay, that's great. Our goal is to learn how to expel all of the air. So as you count the numbers, you should be getting to empty. So you should always be on empty by the time it reaches zero. Here's a fun exercise for feeling what a truly empty lung capacity is, which is we are going to roll down like you would in yoga breathe completely out breathe every single ounce of air out of your body and then while you're down there you plug your nose don't breathe bring yourself back up and then let yourself expand so let's try it we'll do it three times here we go plug your nose You should feel the vacuum go. So let's do it again. Let's try it one more time. So that feeling of emptiness is what we're getting to on zero. Now you can also do this the opposite way, much like we were doing with, um, earlier. I think we did this earlier where we were gaining, um, but it's always nice to check back with breathing exercises. You breathe in for four, out for four, in for eight, out for four, in for 12, out for four, and so on. This is a little more difficult because you're breathing in and we only have so far and it's a little more difficult to control. So this one takes more practice. So much like before, but this time 
If the arm's coming up, breathing in. If the arm's going out, we're breathing out. So here we go. And in for four, out for four, in for eight, out for four, in for 12, out for four. Here we go. That one's a little uncomfortable because after a while, when you're first learning, you're going, uh, uh, trying to get more in. But that's okay, we're just learning. And you're learning how your body fills up. So, as a rule of thumb, it's really easy to do that with the 4-4 exercise because you're thinking about it. You're going, okay, and quarter, half, 75, 100, 75, half, quarter, zero. So, there's that. Bless me. Anyways, <laughs> sneezing on camera. I am alive. Great. Um, anyways, so there's those exercises. The other thing you can do with these is add on a shh, shh, shh. This is a longer video today, I'm noticing. And the shh, shh, shh is on the exhale. Now you're not going shh, 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 which a lot of people end up doing on the first time, which is just fine. It's fine. We're learning you are breathing out and and not letting anything come back in. So you're stopping the breath from coming back in. So it's a shh, shh, shh. So let's try our four, eight, four, 12, four, blah, exercise with that, shall we? Here we go. This strengthens your diaphragm and it helps you engage those staccato muscles on a more lengthy measure. So here we go. We're gonna do the arm like this again. So. In for four, out for four, in for four, out for eight. And here we go. Keep in, you keep adding on to it. We're going to get into more exercises in the next episode. So tune in next week. Uh, we're going to be concentrating on our breath support again. So that is this week. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope that this is helping you during this quarantine and helping you keep on top of your voice. So see you later. Mm -hmm.